Hi guys, I'm back with a brand new LEGO modular building, which is of uh, the Sanctum Sanctorum for Infinity War and Multiverse of Madness. And for a bonus, I'm also gonna review with the Garganto set that we got back in January. Alright, so let's begin. And this set just came out on August the 1st of 2022 and it's supposed to go right next to the bugle up there but how do I put this it's kind of weird to put a comic book based set next to an MCU set but it's still cool all right let's go through what's happening so right stupid trees Right there is Spider-Man, they're just running, running on the bottom roof of the Sanctum, and the, over, where is it, dang it, I'll fix that later. Right there is Tony Stark flying in around in his a nanotech suit Mark 50. Okay, there I put the tree back. Back. All right. Let's spin it. It's much more easier. Right there is Master Mordo floating around, but if he's in the if he's in Earth 616, doesn't that mean a incursion is going to start? Where? Oh, come on. Anyways, and on this side, there's Dead Strange versus Scarlet Witch, which is a reference to the final battle in Multiverse of Madness. If you notice, I kind of upgraded Scarlet Witch and the Dead Strange. For Scarlet Witch, I just gave her a Red Junior's cape because I didn't have the Civil War Scarlet Witch. And for Dead Strange, I gave him a Batman cape with the Outrider neck attachment. And... Oh yeah. On top of the roof, there's Doctor Strange versus Sinister Strange. And Wong versus... Ebony Maw, which is my first Ebony Maw minifigure. And when we spin it around, on the back there's a poster for the Captain America exhibit at the Bricksonium. It's actually supposed to be Miss Missonium, but because it's Lego World, it's supposed to be a Bricksonium. Which is a which is a reference to the Winter Soldier. And at the bottom is a regular sling ring portal to Comertage, and in there is the book Caecilius steals in the first Doctor Strange film. I still wish Caecilius was in the set. And there's the Time Stone, which is which I'm pretty happy to have because back in 2018 when I got the Infinity War sets, I didn't get the Sanctum, so I can finally complete my Thanos gauntlet. And there are some posters back there, and some gra graffiti. First, first up is the graffiti. For the graffiti, there is the Ten Rings, a reference to Iron Man 3 and Shang-Chi, Legends of the Ten Rings. And, oh yeah. And there's also a poster to join S.H.I.E.L.D., a little spiderweb graffiti. And the other poster is the sh advertisement for the shawarma restaurant, which is a reference to the first Avengers movie. And there's another flyer that says Darcy's Dog Walk, which is a reference to the first Thor movie. Hold on. Sorry, I had to burp. Anyways, which is a reference to the first Thor movie where Darcy saves a dog in a deleted scene. 
yeah. And inside, I can't really show you because then me and dad has to make this video. Like, if you remember the daily bugle videos, we made three of those. We made one version where we take pictures of it and take picture inside. And I made a review of the bugle. So I'm wondering if we're going to do that with this sanctum as well. Oh yeah, I have, I forgot to mention as well. There's Gargantos. Those. By the way, I think I memorized what in was inside, so I'm going to tell you what was inside. Number one, a picture of Doctor Strange. Number two, the, the green chair, the fireplace, a picture of Wong and Strange in the mountains, which is a reference to Spider-Man No Way Home. By the way, this set has not so many references to No Way Home. Why? By the way, I'm probably thinking of uh, buying the Sanctum Workshop so I can get MJ to get in the set with Peter. And I'm probably gonna buy an unofficial figure of Ned Leeds because they don't have the unofficial figure, so leave me alone. Alright, anyways. Then, same in here, there's also a fridge that has a Iron Man ice cream and a Hulk ice cream, which is a reference to Infinity War in a confirmation. In a con. How do I say it? Uh, confirmation. Confrontation with. Ah, screw it. The, when they were talking with Tony and the Bruce. Then also up there is a Stormbreakers, Stormbreakers Pizza, reference to Avengers Endgame. And there is a Chitauri weapon on the back. A reference to Spider-Man Homecoming or the Avengers because yeah. And there's also a Strange's broken hand, which has some of those stuff sticking out, which is a reference to the first Doctor Strange film. Same with this watch. And on the second floor, there is... Let me move Garganto so I can say. Okay, there's a bunch of artifacts, and there's a door where it shows it's a dark dimension, but back here, when you turn the air conditioners, it, it changes so you can have the different locations, like the sand and mountains, a reference to the first movie again and there is the two chairs so it would have been great to get thor and loki for the ragnarok part and on the top oh yeah i forgot to mention on the second floor there's also a picture of the ancient one which we should have gotten in this set and kaecilius why isn't lego making kaecilius yet I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just so irritated because they haven't made Kaecilius. Anyways, on the top floor, there was a little, there was the little window with the bronze, which is a bit more accurate. And there's also the monkey kid staff, and there's pictures of Wong and 616 Mordo, which I'm probably going to make a custom figure of. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. And there's also a skeleton, a black skeleton torso in the top because in the first movie, Doctor Strange traps Cassilius in this bony trap. And there's also a samurai helmet. And yeah. Alright. Next set is the Gargantos showdown and I know like I know people like the set but Gargantos only appeared in the movie for 10 minutes but let's and to make this funnier I made Strange, Sorcerer Supreme Wong and America Chavez riding Gargantos like a cow cowboy so yeah and I know I made a video about this, but here are some figures I wish that was in this this big chungus right here. I wish we could have gotten Kaecilius, 
the ancient one and Christine Palmer just as the civilian and Thor and Loki for Ragnarok and wish we could have gotten any character from No Way Home and some other characters like Defender Strange. I know Dead Strange is in the set but we need the I we need Defender Strange which spoiler alert is the is just defend Dead Strange is actually just Defender Strange but a zombify because Strange dream walked into him which just sounds like a different version of sleepwalking or is that they walk I don't know anyways anyways and time to show you some of the figures in these two sets First are my two duplicate versions of Strange. We got the Sanctum Sanctorum Strange, which has the orange power blast pieces, while this Strange has discs. Well, do you guys remember that old uh, Doctor Strange set that came out alongside the first Doctor Strange film? Yeah, there's no printing on it. Mm, it's, it's like the old ones. And next two are my two different Wongs, the Infinity War and Multiverse of Madness. Let's start out with the non-Sorcerer Supreme version. It, I know why he replaced Call Obsidian because he came in the Bricktober pack. If you're wondering why I'm looking up, there's a moth there, or is that a, or is that a fly? I don't know. So, anyways, yeah. He didn't have any leg printing or dual molded legs. And but at least the Sorcerer Supreme version of him has detail on the legs. And your Stark Text Stark Text suit Spider-Man. And then there's Iron Man Mark 50, which can finally go with my 2020, 2022 Hall of Armor. Oh, sorry, America Chavez. Which I wish she had a different hairpiece, but it's okay. Then there's my first fit with Ebony Maw, which doesn't have any light printing. Then there's Dead Strange, Sinister Strange, who finally, I mean, who has the third eye, Scarlet Witch, and this Baron Mordo. So yeah. Nothing special about this guy. Same with him, because they're, di they're duplicates. And I'm probably gonna upgrade this one in a future video. <coughs> Sorry, what? Well. This guy is cool. My first Stark tech suit, Spider-Man. My second Mark 50. I'm... America! But for some reason, they gave her a pride pin. But I understand why, because the movie hasn't come out yet, and she never had it. Or on her jacket, yeah. My first Ebony Maw. Zombie Demon. Or, I mean, Zombie Ripoff from What If. But still cool. Three Eye Willy. CMF. CMF copycat. Sorcerer Supreme 2. If you're wondering why I gave them all those names, because they just remind because I want to be funny and the I want this uh, channel to be funny as hell and we can and actually, we can say hell because there was this, because one Disney film said it, and I guess that's kid friendly. So yeah, that was my review of the Gargantos fight and the Sanctum Sanctorum. All right, bye guy, bye guys. The last time.